What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. For today, I'll be reviewing the Modern Warfare 2 game. And by the way, it will only be the multiplayer side because I haven't played the DMZ or the Battle Royale mode at all. Well, I did manage to play the DMZ mode and I only played for one match and survived for 15 minutes. And I did manage to exfil and all, but I only got XP. I was like, huh, interesting. But at the end of the day, I feel like what they were going to, you know, they were going for something like the Dark Zone or H1Z1 survival mode, you know, I understand. And I feel like this mode is a lot, a lot fun when it's played with, with friends and all, you know, with a party. It's not fun at all playing solo. I played it solo and it's boring as hell. So, but in, in all honesty, I feel like the mode has a lot of potential. So don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put it down or anything, but it's a lot better when you're playing with a party. So, uh, but one thing that does suck though, they, they they have like two guns locked behind that mode, the M13 and some other one. So that means I have to play the entire damn map just to look for this gun and then exfil with it, and that just annoys me. I'm like, dude, put that in the battle pass. Don't do this, man. So now the battle pass really does not have anything to be hyped for. Like it's just a boring battle pass with a bunch of skins that really are not that good either. But that, I'll leave that rant for some other video. But anyways, moving on to the multiplayer. I want to tell you guys my feelings about this mode. There's a lot of negative feelings, so get ready, guys. Uh, if I do some, if I do say something controversial, you know, I guess so. I, I just say it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I feel like this mode, everybody's hacking. Everybody's freaking hacking. Everybody knows where you are. Everybody knows exactly where you're aiming at. It's just so ridiculous. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this game, because in the previous CODs, I have never experienced something like this before. Not in Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War, or Vanguard. And that's when freaking crossplay started, you know, Modern Warfare 2019. And I did not experience this problem. The only problem I have in 2019, the 6 versus 6 maps were horrendous. Cold War, everybody was ahead of me by one second. And then Vanguard, I actually did super good in the game. I actually did cross over 100 plus kills like more than 10 times. And that's only in the first month of release, for God's sakes. So now seeing myself in Modern Warfare 2, playing against people and still in crossplay, I feel like it's mostly, now is this is just my opinion, it may not be like that, but I feel like mostly the problems start with PC gamers. People know where you are at all times, they turn around too fast, they aim exactly where you are, even through the wall, and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna turn off crossplay, I'm not gonna do this anymore. So I did turn it off, but I still feel like people on the PS5 now are still running some type of hack, I don't know, but they have perfect aim, they have no recoil shooting from a mile away with a pistol, and with, you know, deagles and revolvers, and I'm like, dude, this is so ridiculous. The cheating has to stop at one point. But this just it's just so common in this game. I've never seen it this bad in Vanguard, but now going into Modern Warfare 20, 2022, you know, it's just super bad, bro. I don't know what to do anymore. But uh god damn, bro. It's just the game. Anyways, another another problem that I do have with this game is the SBMM. It is so bad in this game also. And uh, the only other one that I did experience the SBMM was so bad was back in Cold War. And uh, now going to uh, Modern Warfare 2, you know, it's just they want to keep you tight. They want to keep you with your certain group, which is mine is a 1.20 KD, right? But the SBMM does not only affect who you're match up with, but also your gun. So if you do have Kai KD with your gun, your gun will start making less damage over time. And it's just so common, bruh. There's no way to deny it anymore. There's so many videos about this in TikTok that I'm like, dude, that is actually true. And you can experience it a lot and actually in shipment. If you do go in a kill streak, watch your gun do less damage over time. Because it's just so common like that. So uh, th that's another main reason why I will never post best class setups for this game. Because I feel like the gun's damage are so inconsistent that I'm like, dude, this entire game is just a clown show. There's no consistency at all so um that pisses me off but you know hey i can only do so much but anyways those were all the negative things i gotta say about this game man oh man oh one more thing ghost does not work the ghost perk of all things you know they have not fixed this damn perk at all so apparently if you do have the ghost perk on even with the silencer on you'll still be pinged in the map so if you do shoot a bullet when the enemy calls in a uav you're still on the map Regardless of ghosts, regardless of silencers, regardless of anything. Dead silence, they can still see you, hear you, whatever. So, it's a useless perk. In some kind of way. Unless you'll never shoot your gun at all the entire time you're running. 
that would be the only way you can maintain your stealth it's completely stupid really they broke that perk unbelievable so anyways um talking about the guns talking about the gameplay itself it's solid i feel like the gunshots are nice i feel like the guns are good a lot of ways to customize it which is good you know that's a big plus for me which is something that i always wanted in this game and they had kept it over the past three years so i have no problem with that i like the guns in this game i wish there was more than just like five different versions of an ak but you know hopefully over time we do get different guns you know not more ak's we have a lot of them already um the maps, they're a lot better than 2019, I'll tell you what. You know, we have no Piccadilly. We don't we don't have that one bridge in the middle of the damn map that became so freaking boring. You know, we don't have only three lanes maps. You know, there's a lot of trash in the middle. We have a lot of different things. It's a good good set of maps. The only problem is most of the maps have a lot of roofs on it. So it kind of kills some of the kill streaks. I don't know, man. It's questionable. But that's why I said, like, the maps are par. They're not memorable. They're not like, oh, like, wow, this is going to be... You know remaster in the future like no they're like okay but one things that do suck though they're gonna start adding some of the older maps into this game something like dude just make your own maps fucks <laughs> give us some originals for once man but yeah the devs are gonna get lazy like that in the future so um as for the battle pass and the store stuff i'll talk about it later i'm telling you right now guys there is useless do not buy anything do not buy the battle pass because all the good stuff is literally on the store so anyways so i want to talk about today guys and i want to give the grade of this game mode of a 6.5 out of 10. it has a lot of potential the problem is the sbmm is uh really really holding this game back i don't know why they keep adding it to be honest i like to play with randoms you know whatever but it's really killed um any type of like momentum every time you jump into a match no game you started with the damn lobbies too the lobbies need to stay together <laughs> They haven't done that for the past three years, but like, god damn it, bro, they just, just keep it OG, but they're not going to do it anymore. So regardless of what I say, they're not going to change anything. Um, so I think that's enough of my complaints, right? So it's mostly negatives, really. <laughs> I don't have nothing positive to say about this game besides the guns and some of the maps that are, you know, some somewhat par. So that is it, guys. If you just want to see more, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.